Yeah, somebody in chat says he has three children. You're gonna get bad jokes here. Completely agreed. My jokes were already terrible before I had kids. And look where we are now. Now now they're on an entirely new level of terrible. fight isn't going so well so far. Great. Okay. Was that a boss? Oh. What? Applause, if you please. It's a talisman. Okay. Berserker style. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah, that was great. I, I did not realize that the death birds counted as bosses. Interesting. Okay. I thought they were just like the, uh, well, I guess the knights do, don't they? Huh. Cool. Man, this area is gorgeous at night. Just freaking gorgeous. Is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet me price, I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. If you've got the runes. Jerkin with the 35 months says, don't forget your prime. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. Big thank you to everyone who drops their Prime subs here and supports everything we do. If you are watching on YouTube, by the way, if you have Amazon Prime, you can still drop your Twitch Prime sub here. And uh, we very much, very much appreciate those on YouTube that do. A lot of you guys drop by and just drop your subs and then go back to YouTube. That is one of the reasons I'm able to put so much content everywhere I do. So thanks to those that do. It really, really helps. And I appreciate it greatly. Okay, about Raya. Oh... So you met the girl, did you? All right, well, sod the particulars of the matter. But it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped, is it? Anyway. Wow. She ain't all right, that one. Lucky she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. Is Twitch Prime dying, says Jadson? So here's the thing. Twitch Prime is 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 dying in the way that any corporate feature does. Um, Like, basically, Twitch is making it harder to use Twitch Prime because Twitch Prime loses Amazon a lot of money and and it gets me, us streamers, lots of money. <laughs> so you used to be able to like super easily use your Prime and you'd get a pop-up when it was available and, a, and, and it had its own button and everything, but they have recently made it. So now you have to like click the sub button and then click a drop down and select the Prime token. So they're putting all these like clicks and drop downs and things in front of being able to use your Prime. So in corporate talk, this is the beginning of them phasing it out. <laughs> so it's so the reason and, and also um, as some as as you know, I was recently 
talking to some of my, my subs in, in, uh, in offline chat. And one of the things that they mentioned is they're like, Ko, you've been doing this 11 years. You realize a lot of people only watch you. You never talk about Prime subs. How do you think people find out about them? And I was just like, Nanny. That's a good point. So I should probably at least mention them every so often. And that conversation happened a while ago, uh, a few weeks ago, which is why you've been hearing me talking about them more recently. <laughs> because, yeah, that's a good point. Like, if I don't talk about them, Twitch doesn't want you to know about them. Amazon doesn't want you to know about them. So they don't promote them anymore. So, yeah, that's... Uh... Never met anyway, that's why. <laughs> I literally went years without, like, basically even acknowledging their existence. And um, that may have not been the best idea. <laughs> Dream of Frogs. How are you? How are you? Dirty says, know about what? The thing that people don't know about is that if you have Amazon Prime, then they give you a free Twitch sub. You have a free Twitch sub you can use on me or any streamer on Twitch every month if you have Amazon Prime. All you have to do is when you subscribe, do the little drop down to Twitch Prime, and then you just give the streamer money and you lose nothing. Yes, that is that is a hundred percent a thing. And people in chat right now are saying they've not heard of it. So yes, um, it's it. They really promoted it when it came out when Amazon bought Twitch. But then like every year they talk about it like less and less and less and less. And the thing is, is it was essentially a raise for streamers. When Amazon bought Twitch, Amazon Prime, that was just a raise. That was like giving streamers a raise. So obviously, <laughs> they they you know the less they talk about it, the less people use it, the less. Free subs are being given out on Amazon's dime, etc., etc. So, anyway, I've talked about it enough. Now you know. Spread the word. <laughs> I don't like talking about it, obviously, because I don't normally. But it is important that people know that are here regularly. And as the subs pointed out, I need to do a better job at that. Four paws with the ten bomb. Thank you so much. And then we have Furai with the five as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Okay. Good show. So these prawn we bought, which I think we can go back and get whenever we want. These things give us a physical Good damage show. negation buff. So we're going to want to use one of these. We're going to want to pop one before we do bosses. And hope that it stacks with everything else. I think pretty much everything in this game stacks. I don't think we have to worry too much about stacking. So when we see something like that, we can assume it's going to stack with everything else we got. I hope. Uh, I'm not, uh, I, I'm not here, people. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. We don't, we don't really do politics in the channel. I apologize. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't apologize. We don't do politics in the channel. That's just how it is. Sorry. No apologies necessary. Okay. Yo! Four paws with the 100 sub bomb. After just doing a 20, we do not see those often. Thank you so much, bud. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, no, no. I, I'm, I'm seriously thrilled that, that you personally think that some issues aren't political. Unfortunately, that's not the way the world works. And and it's more of what everyone thinks, not what just you think. I'm sorry. But it, that's that's just how it works. Yeah. So that's I'm I'm thrilled for you though that you feel your particular issue is non-political. That's not what the world feels. Um, not everything stacks. There are weapon buffs, talismans, body buffs, and other buffs that stack, but not with themselves. Okay, okay. So the question I have, in particular, is different items. Oh, Furai, yeah, Furai gifted a five sub as well. Thank you so much for that, Furai. Really appreciate that too. Thank you, man. I don't know what why you guys are nuts. Anyway. This item does physical damage negation. So as far as I know, it won't stack with itself, but it will stack with every other item that boosts physical damage negation. Is that accurate? I think that's right. Yes. Okay. So we know if we use it, we are getting benefits from it. Ah, basically. It's also tasty. You yes. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What was your impression? I didn't like them. Aha. Uh -huh. ah. Your intuition serves you well. Did it? My doubts had been piling up. 
You see. Oh, have they? The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Oh. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. Obviously. I believe that when the Elden Ring was mm. shattered, the two fingers were corrupted. Their guidance skewed. Skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the what? part that irks the most. What about one finger? All right, uh, let's go to... Oh, I have a gift oh. for you. Something mm. fit only for the wise. Oh. A means for circumventing <laughs> the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try. Hey, James you? Phillip. Awesome, and buddy. if it please you, may we meet again. I have high hopes for you, my lambkin. Dude, we are so close to being caught up with our other run. I am, I am very excited. Look at all the death here. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. That dude did crazy stamina damage. Good show. Got him. William Wall with the five bomb. Thank you, Will. Really appreciate that as well. That was not a boss for the record. Not a boss. Just a jerk. Random jerk. Doom Buggy with the 10 years of support. Oh man. What the, oh, the mor this morning has been very feelsy. Uh, but that's, that's dude. 10 years, I can't believe it's been that long since I followed and subbed. Many things have changed in my life since that time, but the one constant has been this channel. There've been so many memories from this channel over the past 10 years. The community and you have been so awesome. Here's to many more years to come. Cheers from Doom Buggy, celebrating 120 months of subs today. We have hung out together, Doom Buggy, more than a quarter of my life. Wow. <laughs> and people say that you don't like, you know, get to know people over the years. <laughs> hey, Blood Flame Blade. Wait a second, I might want that. Do I want that? I might want that. Maybe. The Boiled Prawn is a body buff, which you can have only one active at a time. No free stacking with everything up here. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh shoot, I'm sorry. Uh, I already have turbo, but you're worth my prime. Thanks for the great stream, you legend. Well, I think that might be the first I've seen that. Thank you very much, dude. Very nice of you. I appreciate that greatly. Glad you're enjoying the show, my man. Awesome. Kebrock, hop in the Kovatar. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so going back to what we were doing, do I need to talk to Vare again? I think at this point, I just need to do like three or four invasions and then we can go back and talk to Vare, right? Post 40, I'm um, gonna be next month. Yep. <clears throat> 40 next month. 40 showed it. Uh, I thought there was a faith here. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. There's no reason to dither. The tarnished were spurned Chat, by grace, dithering. forsaken by the two fingers. Yeah. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. What does dither mean? Uh, dither means to dally or waste time or do things that are not related to what you're supposed to be doing. Like, you know, mess around. Dilly dally. Yep. Uh, okay. So, going back to our, our master checklist here. Um, let's, let's get this in order. So, I wanna sub out the blade. Let's do that now, so we can kinda see how we like that. Uh, we need to do the academy. 
to do that we need to get the stone let's go do the dog lady now let's go let's because i was thinking about that earlier let's go do the dog lady now and get that all handled Oh, it's a spell. Oh. Oh, I did not realize it was a spell. No. So wait, I can do, oh, I don't have enough for it. Oh no, how much does it cost? Um. Twenty. Oh, it needs a staff, not a seal? Oh. Wait, what? I, I don't even know if I have an arcane casting thing. No, it's not. Okay. It's because the sword is already holy. Oh, so for this to work, I would have to do this. So that means, if I'm going to do that, that means this isn't going to do anything. Yeah, that changes it from blood flame to holy. Which means I don't want to do that. So that makes me wonder, do we want a different ash of war on our claymore? And if so, what? Um, We could... I don't think we want Golden Vow, because Golden Vow is is also holy, which is not what we're doing. Um, we could get Stormcaller, so we have a ranged attack. Bloody Slash is just amazing, and would probably synergize with... Oh, but that's Arcane Scaling. We can't do Arcane Scaling. Um... Golden Vow does not enchant the sword. Oh. Yeah, I mean, technically you're right. What exactly does Golden Vow do? Doesn't Golden Vow make us take more damage? No. No, Golden Vow is plus damage and defense. What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of a spell that increases holy damage but reduces... What am I thinking of? Oh, maybe that, that was a trinket. That was a trinket, wasn't it? That's a talisman. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. That's a talisman. All right, we're good, we're good. Thank you, chat. That's the scorpion charm. Yep, perfect, perfect. Okay. Well, dang. We got a new toy. Okay. Uh, let's let's try this out. Um, hmm. This will be interesting. Space Goat with a 97 months, dude. Awesome. Coffee anniversary edition. Hey, did you try the coffee? What do you think? What do you think of the coffee? I'm, I'm collecting opinions. All right, so I think Wolf Girl is right over here somewhere, right? It's like right along the wall of the west side. Actually, let me look at the dungeon. Uh, you know what? Let me not look at where it is because that way we'll just explore and see more things. 
Is this a new build? This is the, the Coladin build. If you check out the new car command, um, that is that is this that is this current build. And that's why we're giving 10 subs every death. It's because this is one of the first times I've played this game where I'm actively trying not to die, which is this new fun feeling for me. Going pretty well so far. I'm digging it, man. Feels good. It's made some fights really tension heavy and they've they felt really good. It doesn't seem to work. What do you mean? Unsure of how a car purchase relates to ER? I have no words for you. I am definitely not hitting his heart. Like, by a lot. I don't know if these guys are wholly weak or something, but I am hitting much, much, much less damage. Oh god, you're back? What? We both had weaknesses. Good. Boom. Yeah, so I don't, I'm not sold on this yet. Um, so we'll have to see what we're thinking there. So I recommend putting Golden Devour on a dagger to swap to it for buffing so you can put something else on your weapons. Buffs carry over after weapon swapping. Yeah, in fact, I think I have that already. Didn't, oh, wait, no. I got the dagger, but I don't... Wait. Oh, I took it off the dagger. Golden Val was on the dagger. So now I'm just... I just made it so we don't have to switch, basically. But, I mean, we could... We could put it on the dagger, use it as a buff, and then put a ranged attack on the sword. Which may work. Um, I did need to switch the sword from what we had, though, because I needed it to be keen. Instead of what it is. Be sure to try... I'm quite... Yeah. Code change your scaling, you're using dexterity. So the thing is, is I have to use dexterity. The only other option I have is faith, but faith scaling comes from holy damage, which we don't want on the sword. So, because we want to be able to use our blood flame blade, um, and we can't do that if the sword is doing holy damage. So I'm starting to wonder though, like maybe, maybe I won't want to use blood flame. I mean, what we had going was working great. So the only, the only reason I kind of want to change it is if we change it to something significantly better, but this doesn't really feel better. Heavy or standard would be better than keen. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, I see what you're saying, chat. So, if we did, like, uh... I don't... At what point does a stat start benefiting over standard? So, like, a number? Um... It's like our strength is 16, our dex is 13. I mean, it's not, you know what? Nah. Nah. I liked how we had it. I liked how we had it, chat. I did. I liked how we had it. It was working, felt good. I don't think I want to change it yet. Also, to put it bluntly, although I think Blood Flame Blade is really, really cool, I don't feel like it fits the vibe of a Paladin. I feel like blood and like maybe fire and holy damage, but blood and fire that that that's not really that's like shadow knighting, you know, it's like a yeah, might be a bit much. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I think we I think we did everything we need to. Oh, this we're gonna get you back to. We do need a lot cooler spells. We don't have like any cool spells. I gotta go meet Turtle Pope, man. We gotta go meet Turtle Pope. There's so many great faith spells that we just don't have. We need to get Flame Cleanse Me, obviously. We need to get that fire buff in uh, Kaelid. It'd be amazing, too. Right, let's go find this cave. It is on the west side of the map. 
is somewhere along this wall. We gotta find the map for this area, dude. Where is the map for this area? I don't even see it. Like, normally they at least put the little thing on your map, but damn, dude. I have no idea where the map for this area is. Oh, light, lightning enchant would absolutely work for our build. Yes. Uh, a lightning kind of thing. Lightning and holy are like hand in hand, man. That, that would fit just fine. It's northwest. Thank you, chat. Always so helpful. There isn't a paladin in the world that would turn down a flaming sword. How dare you, says my YouTube guy, Red. I can't really argue that. That's a very, very good point. <laughs> I, if, it, if it was just a flaming sword, I think I could go for it. But it's the it's the bleeding part, man. I don't know. But paladins and bleed. That just doesn't seem to... Paladins heal, you know? Bleeding is like necrotic. Like open wound. Like that's... I don't know. Doesn't feel right. Now cleansing with holy fire. That, that feels kind of right. I, I can get behind some cleansing, you know? Cleansing. That's a holy thing. You like, ho holy people like to cleanse. Yeah. All about the cleansing. Uh, okay. Well, this is not where I want it to be at all. What's this? Miss Chaotica says, by fire be purged. Oh, you filthy heretic. It's good to see you too. Converted tower. Okay. Bro, do you even cleanse? Bro, do you even cleanse? Uh, how do we get up there? Really? Oh, it's one of these. Do I even have one of these yet? I don't have a glintstone head. Shoot. All right, we're gonna have to come back here later. Hold on, I gotta mark this. Uh, what what is our come back later thing? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the gem for come back later. Okay, gem is is definitely come back here later. Okay. Oh God, should we try this? Um. Just gonna chill there. We good? No, you are definitely not. Just chill. Who should we bring with us this time? Uh, so tell me something. These summons that I have are super cool because they like uh, they're because they're skeletal. They come back to life. Will these guys come back to life too? I'm, I'm wondering. Maybe I should do the wolves? I have no idea which, which summons to use. Oh no, are these the only summons that come back to life? Unless they get hit? Jellyfish is ranged? That's cool, okay. I kinda like these, I like the militiamen because they come back. This, there's a skeleton great shield that respawns. Yes, yes, we're, we're, I'm probably gonna use the, the great shield one when we get it. That one seems awesome. Here we go. Get swole, sun. I didn't see a buff pop up on my bar when I used that.
freaking butter. Now freaking butter. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Cerulean and Ruptured. I don't remember offhand what those do, but I hope they're good. Take a look around here. Jump Attack Pioneer. Yeah, I, I think I'm actually the first Elden Ring player to fully utilize Jump Attack. Um, you know, I mean, there's been players in the past that have, you know, just done a lot of jumping and attacking, but there's a difference between art and an artist. You know? Yeah, and, you, and, you, and that's the difference I feel we, we fundamentally explore on this stream. Hold on a second, I need to fart. <laughs> oh! oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. No, we're good. All right. Sorry. We're, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Was that not pretentious enough? Let's see. I don't. Th Ooh, I don't think there's anything else around here we really want. 